This is a behind the scenes video that I wanted to share with everyone so you guys can see sort of what the process was for the actual, you know, how many actual stops of usable dynamic range can we recover in the highlights when shooting on red. And I am uploading this in 8K. Okay, so for this first shot, we're starting at f1.4. I am using the IPP2 color pipeline, and this is what our starting point. I took the exposure right on the key side of her forehead to make sure that I paid attention to the skin tone highlights and the texture. And now we are one stop overexposed. Continue to meet her in the same spot basically to make sure that I have a consistent measuring and to ensure that I'm able to bring back as much as I can. One thing that I started to notice is there is a bit of color variation as I change the light, which makes sense in luminosity, but it doesn't in tonality for me. And that's something that might be worth exploring in a future video. At this point, at f2.8, we are two stops overexposed from our base exposure. And as you can see, red does a really good job of being able to recover the image very close to what the original was. So there's very little penalty. The skin still has a lot of texture, a lot of tonality, and it doesn't look at all plasticky, which is, you know, a major problem. So overall, at two stops overexposed when shooting at the 800 ISO on red, it doesn't appear to be a major issue. And now we moved up to F4. So F4 is now three stops overexposed. And as you can see, we were able to recover essentially all of the tonality. We are starting to see a little bit of blooming in the forehead area, you know, right where her, like a little bit of shine might be there, and maybe the tip of her nose. But overall, that's still very manageable. And this is, it was very easy to actually bring back all of this detail in Resolve and match the scopes. So now we are four stops overexposed, and this, again, looks really good to me. We were able to recover and match the scopes fairly well. As you can see, there is a slight color shift that has happened now with her skin tone. And that is, you know, maybe something that can be corrected. And my skill level, I was not able to correct back to the original. And this is now five stops overexposed on red. We're at F8. And as you can see and notice, the highlights are gone. I've clipped her forehead, her cheek, the side of her nose, the upper lip, and even into her neck area. And there was just absolutely no way of recovering from that overexposure. Also changing the ISO in Resolve right at the metadata level in post-production did not help me here. So I did what I could to match the scopes, but this is what the image looked like. At six stops overexposed, you know, everything's gone nuclear. There is no coming back from it. Um, five stops was not usable. This is definitely not usable, but you can still see the color shift that happened. And, you know, you want to talk about highlight roll off. This is not a pleasing highlight roll off. So hopefully you guys watch the full video and let me know what you guys think.